What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and we are here today for the season 2 finale of our Formula 1 22 driver career mode. We are here in Abu Dhabi for the final showdown between Max Verstappen and myself. We're trying to see if we can take the title out of Max Verstappen's hands in the last race of the season and in order for that to happen a few things have to go down. So. Right now we're 23 points behind Max Verstappen, so if we want to pass him in this championship, we will have to obviously win the race, because if you win the race you get 25, second place is like 18 or whatever, so it's not going to be enough. We have to win the race. Uh, if we win the race, then Max Verstappen has to come P10 or lower, um, or sorry, P9 or lower, and even if we have the fast slap as well, uh, he will have to come at P9 or lower, so we have to win the race. Super important, if we don't win the race, then Max Verstappen will win no matter what. No one else is in contention for the championship anymore. And the way that Verstappen has been racing this season, it's going to be tough. We're definitely going to need something lucky to happen. A poorly timed safety car on Verstappen's end, or he gets into an incident, he's got to go and change his wing, something like that. Because the way that he's been racing this year, he is not going to be uh, coming in P9 or P10 just from his own raw pace in this race. Obviously, we got to get pole position. Our first flying lap here, we put up a 122.8. No purple sectors, unfortunately, but it's good enough for P2. Currently behind Lando Norris, who's been having a pretty great season as well in the McLaren that uh, I developed last season. Just going to put that out there. But Max Verstappen in Sector 3 on his first flying lap, he's got a 117.1 in Sector 2, 35.1 in Sector 2. And I'm keeping my eye on him in this qualifying because I don't know why the AI tend to go faster on these qualifying laps when you're not watching them. But when you put the camera on them, I guess they, they choke under the pressure of you watching and uh they got a little bit of a slower time but he comes in and he's in p3 now we drop down to p5 and now we're on the final flying lap where it matters most i drop the fuel load again i always drop the fuel load on the last lap i keep it at whatever it starts at um when you load in to the session so down into turn four we're already basically two tenths up we put up a purple sector one I would also like Charles Leclerc to qualify on the front row alongside me, uh, preferably behind me, but because he's still trying to prove to himself that he is not Ferrari's number two driver, he's going to try and win the race too, which means that if Verstappen is behind him, he's going to be fighting, they're going to fight each other, they're going to lose a bunch of time, which allows me to uh, get up ahead and secure the win, because again, we have to win the race and even if Verstappen is not uh, in P9 or lower then I just don't want him to win the race. I don't want him to win the race and cap off his championship run this season with a win and I want to end this season off on a bang. We had a okay start to the season so we're trying to cap it off with a win trying to head into next season uh, with some momentum but through the final turns in our final flying lap we are four five tenths up almost we got purple sector one green sector two purple sector three and it's gonna be a pole position for the finale here in abu dhabi we're gonna see if we can uh secure this championship for stappen in p4 we're gonna keep an eye on him through this race but if you guys enjoy the stuff be sure to drop a like be sure to subscribe and enjoy the season two finale Let's get right into it, guys. Okay, so our system checks are good. We need to stay in formation and start bringing the car up to temperature, please. Get some load into the tires and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the end of this lap. All right, we are here for the finale. And we've clutched it with a pole position. So we put ourselves in the best position to take this championship away from Max Verstappen. Unfortunately though, he is qualified in P4. So, I highly doubt he's going to drop down the field. My best hope is either A, his engine implodes, or B, there is an incident into turn 1 causing him to go and pit. 
And even still, if that were to happen, he's a good driver, so he can definitely make his way back up the grid. But essentially, we have to win this race. And if we have the fastest lap, Verstappen has to finish in P9 or lower. If I don't have the fastest lap, then he has to finish P10 or lower. So, it's going to be tight. We're going to need a little bit of luck here. But, we have to focus on our end of the bargain here and just win this race put up the best drive we can and see if we can take it if we win this race if we don't win the championship then we did everything we could and we're gonna have to look towards next season to try and claim our first driver's title but we'll see here as we approach the grid one last time in season two Sergio Perez, the other Red Bull, he's actually been doing a little bit better than Verstappen in these last few races. Uh, but we'll see here. Leclerc P3. Let's get on the grid. Alright. Let's get into this, guys. Let's see if we can take the championship. Alright, here we go. For the final Grand Prix of Season 2 in our driver crew mode, we got five red lights. And this race is underway. And Sergio Perez gets a pretty decent start. We gotta go wide through turn one. Oh, I heard a little bit of a bump. I heard a little bit of a bump. I'm hoping that Max Verstappen gets wing damage on the opening lap. And we can just steal this title right out of his hands. He doesn't lose any positions to start this race. He, oh, no. He overtakes the player. No. I don't know what's going on back there. It's kind of shuffling around. George Russell into P3. He overtakes uh, Leclerc. Perez. Oh my goodness, I did not even see that. He is right on our left rear. And Perez going for the overtake here. We're giving him lots of space. Oh, we almost have contact. There's a yellow flag. There is a yellow flag out. No, nope, green flag now. No safety car. All right, pretty decent opening lap. We've got to get, we've got to win the race. If we don't win the race, no championship. So, we've got to focus on what we're doing here. We will be keeping a, an eye on Max Verstappen. I highly doubt he's got damage because he's moved up into P3 now. And Charles Leclerc has dropped down into at least P6. I can't see where he is on the mini map right now. No, Charles Leclerc goes into the pit. Verstappen's still out, so Leclerc's race pretty much done now. And we got Perez, I think, right on our rear once again. Yeah, he's going down the inside. See if he can make a move. We're going to leave him a little bit of space. We're going to fight him respectfully throughout this race here. And we're going to have an issue once DRS comes around. Yeah, we're using the overtake. Perez still gaining on us. Still gaining. We're going to guard the inside here. Just block the lane. Don't let him through. We're running the defensive masterclass as we always try to do in these races. And he drops down to 5 tenths. And he's on the medium tires. He's pretty quick for medium tires. I'm assuming Perez is going to let him pass. Because Verstappen obviously wants to win this race. It'd be nice to uh, cap off a title run with a, with a race win. But, if they get busy fighting each other, I will be happy with that, and I will just be on my way to winning this race here. Alright, pit lane's open. Now. Verstappen has dove into the pits, so he's going to have an extra lap of clean air, but we did have like a two and a half second gap on him, so we should be fine. Uh, Perez is still out with me. He's going to be out for a little bit more because he's on those medium tires safety car right now would be amazing um actually maybe not right now maybe if we got a little bit closer to the pit lane because then Verstappen would be down in p19 p18 with charles leclerc and uh the safety car would allow most people to get a cheap pit stop and keep okay, track position but I highly doubt that's going to happen. It's been a clean race thus far. We've had a minor yellow flag. So, again, just, uh, we're going to keep our head down here. Get these laps in. We're actually pitting this lap, but after that, uh, get some good laps in. Just try to win this race. 
and see where Verstappen comes out of. Oh, did I make that? Oh, okay, I did. Oof. Okay. This guy, good pit stop. Nice. 2.3. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, we're on the mediums now. A few other drivers are pitting. Uh, but we'll see where we come out here. We're stopping. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross the track. out. Gotta be a little easy on these fresh tires. But we're gonna come out in front of her stop in 2.3 seconds, so just about what he came in on. His tires are a little more worn in, so he might close the gap just a little bit on this outlaw. But after that, we should be fine. Yeah, he's down to 1.8. Leclerc is still out right now. I'm not sure if he started on the mediums or the softs, but he's still out. Oh, and Sergio Perez is in the pits now. So I think we're going to come out of front of him. Uh, he is right in the tunnel. So yeah, we will definitely come out in front of him here. If we take the lead of this race. Yeah, beautiful. Verstappen's got the fastest lap right now. And he moves into P2. I guess Perez had a bit of a slow pit stop. And why is Perez on the hards? Why did Perez go onto the hards? He could have went onto the softs. Oh, okay. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Perez, do something, please. Our championship hopes are going down the drain right now because uh, Verstappen's in P2, and there's nothing I can do about it. Ah, oh, man. That is... Well, let's keep our hopes up. Maybe something will happen here. Alright, so we are headed on to the last lap here, and it's not looking good. Verstappen is right on our gearbox. We got, like, no fuel left over whatsoever. Uh, we are right on the limit, so we've had to kind of conserve over these last few laps, but it doesn't really matter because Verstappen is in P2, which means that assuming he gets across the line here, he will be the World Drivers' Champion, but uh, I'm going to try my best to win this race here. We don't have very much fuel left, which is kind of scary, but Verstappen's coming at us. And we are not going to let him pass us here. we got just enough fuel now to get us across the line. Yeah, I know, Mark. I know. Oh, Perez overtakes Verstappen. I guess when uh, Verstappen was trying to overtake, he kind of compromised his line. Perez gets the overtake done, so he moves down just by one spot. Imagine Verstappen out of the session right now. I would lose my ship. Oh, that's very unfortunate. We're going to hit low fuel mode any second here. Okay, we're just going to cruise here. Oh gosh, we might get overtaken here. Are we going to get overtaken? No, we're good. Oh my god. We just made it over the line. Uh, yeah, P1. We're not the world's driver's champion, unfortunately. But there it is. We won the race. We did everything we could. Uh, we couldn't get the fastest lap, so not everything, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway because Max Verstappen is on the third step of that podium, and that is good enough to secure him another driver's championship. Sergio Perez in P2. Charles Leclerc, I think, had an incident on the opening lap or something. He had to pit. He's down into P8. Uh, which means, good news, uh, we finished in front of Leclerc in the championship by a few spots and quite a bit of points, actually. We were 14 points behind Max Verstappen in this championship, and it was just a tough start to the season. I didn't even think we were going to get this close after the first few races, similar to last season, but I'm hoping next season uh, we will get off to a good start and put us out ahead in this championship we also beat out our old teammate lando norris which is good news he had a good season in the mclaren this year uh, unlike his teammate 
the two Mercedes had a disappointing season. Uh, they're in P3 in the Constructors, but in the Drivers' Championship, they're only P7, P8. Carlos Sainz, the ex-Ferrari driver, was able to finish ahead of them. Alright guys, but that is going to be it for Season 2 of our Formula 1 22 Driver Career Mode. It was a pretty good season, a bit of a rough first half, uh, which kind of costed us in the end, but... Uh, we're the number one driver at Ferrari now. We're getting paid more than Charles Leclerc. Um, we're staying at Ferrari. So hopefully with these components carrying over, we will um, at least be on par with the other drivers or cars, I should say, uh, come next season. But if you guys have watched up to this point, you've watched this series from start to finish, be sure to drop a like on the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you're new, go and catch up on the playlist before Season 3 starts. Uh, there's no, gonna be no preseason episode because I didn't change teams or anything, so I'll just go over whatever driver transfers and stuff happened in the next episode. But yeah, hit the notification bell so you guys know when that comes out. Uh, I appreciate everyone watching. Again, drop a like on the video, subscribe, and I will catch you guys for the next one. Have a great day, guys.